Morning guys, Saturday morning. We need to nip to Moss to get some electrical parts and most importantly some spray paint because I've ran out and I can't continue to make things look pretty. So we're gonna jump in the car now, grab the stuff and then we'll continue with the next episode. <laughs> on our way to Moss. We're going to get the spray paint like I said. We need it to make some sexy looking parts on the Mini. I'm going to see if they've got some UNF bolts in that I require to bolt the alternator on. And once we've got that we'll head back and we'll continue filming the episode. <laughs> Here's Moss, MG, a mini part. How about one of those for the next build? Mm. Oh my God. So that MG I I just shown you, I've just met the guy, he's called Van. He has a Lotus Esprit, a frog eye and that. Uh, I've just been talking to him about half an hour and he's shown him the mini. What a nice guy. Yeah, have a look at his car. Look at that, 100% original, not been messed with. What do you reckon guys for the next build? Give me a thumbs up or a comment to see what you think. Besides that guys, I've got the spray paint, the bits that we needed. And also I've got the bolts for the alternator. Now I have ordered some off mini spares, but they won't be here till Wednesday. So I got some from there anyway because they were pens, peanuts, cheapest chips. So hopefully in today's episode, we might even get to put the alternator back on with the bell and the fan. So let's head home. We'll get on the driveway. <laughs> So while we're sat in traffic guys, I thought we'd take the time to ask the question of obviously when the mini's finished, I don't want my channel to end. I want to keep producing these awesome cinematography videos to my sexy face for you. I need suggestions for the next build and also I might have a big idea which I'll need your opinion on. Shout out in the comments what you think I should build next. <laughs> anyone that lives in Ashton this is known as the big Asda not little big so guys we're back before we continue anything on this car I would just like to highlight that I'm not a mechanic I've done a basics mechanics course which most of the stuff I'm doing wasn't covered on the course the reason I'm doing this channel is purely because I want people to learn from my mistakes so other people don't make mistakes for anyone wanting to know the colors I've used on this car to spray the engine and spray the gearbox I've used this which is the BMC green and it's made by classic car colors there's the number wheel silver and that was for the gearbox and bolts all those so we can do that another package hang on a minute this is a box within a box oh that's heavy in this heavy box the new gorgeous looking alternator with perfectly sounding bearings because the other one was broke so that is going on today so that's going to go on but first of all obviously the other day when we were changing the clutch the thrust bearing for the people that was wondering about that that got done after the video i didn't think i really needed to explain that because it was quite simple the wok which i referred to as the crankcase which i was wrong with so whoever pointed that out thank you so i'm going to spray this give it a bit of a touch up because we knocked it and chipped it <laughs> Would you look at that? So we'll let that dry now, then we'll bolt it back on. But in the meantime, let's get on. Putting the alternator on. Let's get it on. These are the bolts we also went for this morning. Anybody wanting the part numbers from Moss, they are. Without telling people to suck eggs, this is the groove where the belt goes wants to marry up with these two pulleys. Pull it, pull it, pull it. Pull it. In. And then get that. Three, six, six, six. That should hold that in place. You have an adjusting arm which tensions the belt. Let's get the washer. Get the spring washer. Let's get the nut. Let's spin it up. First and foremost, this is the tensioning arm. I did give it a spray, but I think I ran out at the time, so we're gonna rub that down and give that a quick squirt. Back to the spray booth, AKA the floor. So while that's drying, what we will do is turn you sideways. Let's remove this to give ourselves a bit more room when tightening the bolts up. Most importantly, to put the belt on. So let's continue. Now we're going to 
take the belt, that one. Now from what I'm told is when we tension the belt, we don't want it too tight, we want it so there's still a tiny little bit of play in it, but not too much so it's slipping. The fan goes on this way, because that's the way I took it off when I last pulled the engine off. These silver things go facing the engine. <laughs> This is where the tensioner comes in because at the minute as you can see the belt it's not tight so it does move a bit but we need to get rid of that bagginess so the tensioner will in theory push that out in order so when that spins everything spins together. At the moment you can see that that's quite baggy, like something to lever it with, we can get rid of that. It's quite difficult. Now that's got rid of it, but I'm not sort of happy with it, I might just try and put a bit more in that. So to me, from remember taking it off, that seems enough tension on there. Now the next thing you want to do is this. Check that when we turn the engine up in a second, that this spins, that spins. And most importantly, that spins. They're all spinning in sync. You're not going to get any belt slip. If you watch for all these spinning, we'll know now. And there you go. What I forgot to mention as well guys is when you're doing stuff like this, it's very handy to print those off. I think while we're here as well, we'll put this back on because I have ordered a new bolt for the top there and new seals. The engine's looking pretty. For any blemishes like this and that one there and a few on this, I'm gonna sort out before the engine goes back in. I'm gonna respray the gearbox because I never did the underneath. So I'm gonna prop it up against something or even when the engine crane arrives, I'm gonna hoist it up and then paint the bottom of it. I ordered a new rocker cover, one that looks like the Mark 1 rocker cover. I'm gonna put an Austin badge on it as well. And the reason I've not put that back on the bell I was in is because I'm currently spraying it. So this episode might have been shorter than all the other ones, but most importantly, I hope you enjoyed it. Like I say, I am an amateur, I'm not a mechanic. It's a hobby of mine and I just want to make sure I'm doing things right I don't want to be doing things wrong and annoying you guys thanks for watching smash that like button hit subscribe I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers and I'm gonna start coming to mini shows even though this thing's not done yet and get a bit of inspiration of where I want to go with this car people are suggesting turbos very tempted but I'm trying to make this car look old and original don't really want to start modifying it too much yes it's got big arches on it yes it's got over riders on it and yes the original color was blue the aim is to make it look like a mark 1 Cooper S although it's got the wrong boot lid that people have pointed out and it's not got the external hinges. Thanks for watching. Like it. Ding dong that big bell because I like a bit of dong. I'll see you shortly. Also for any of you that have noticed Henbury Garage needs a bit of TLC so right now I'm going to do a basil brush get rid of some weeds. Oh look. Big Bertha. <sighs> we got it. We got it. Also, a wise man once said, a tidy job is a happy job. Make sure you ding dong that bell in style.